Hey everyone, welcome to another Everything Giggle G Suite video with Z. Um, today's video we're talking about basically some quick hints and tips to get the best out of Gmail. So take a seat and let's get started. So hints and tips with G Suite now, this is just purely my opinion and there's a couple of quick, quick features in Gmail that I found really, really useful uh, to get used to Gmail. Uh, I came from a environment where we used Outlook quite a lot, so getting used to Gmail does take its time, but here are a couple of quick features that I found really useful that got me really... Uh, really liking G, uh, uh, Gmail and getting the best out of it so I'm going to show you a quick couple of things that I think you guys could definitely try out if you're not already trying them out. So I'm going to go to my inbox here so this is just an account that I use typically uh, for my demos or whatnot. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is basically if you go over to your little cog icon there and go to settings and if I go to uh, settings now, one of the features that I find really useful that I always enable is if you go over to um, the, 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 the inbox and this little X section here says reading pane. Now, I've enabled this on mine, but by default, sometimes this is disabled. And basically, what this does is it gives you a reading pane next to your email. So, if I've got that enabled, I'm just going to show you quickly what that actually does. So, basically, if I go to my inbox, and you'll see this little icon in the top right hand corner and this is called the split pane mode and if I go to that and what, I have, what happens now basically any email that you click on now appear in a reading, a reading pane on the right hand side which every emails are without having to keep opening them and viewing them and then closing them and viewing them so you can just flip through your emails to be able to, to view those in a little preview pane uh, and you can get horizontal or vertically on no split at all so that's the first feature that I definitely highly recommend that you guys switch on if you haven't got it switched on already so going back into uh, settings but before I do I just want to show you something else so by default Gmail clusters all your emails together no matter how many emails so if you're in an email conversation with someone, it clusters them all together. Now, if you're having 10, 15, 20 emails, for me, sometimes that gets quite confusing knowing which email to, to most reply back to sort of thing. So I switched this feature on and off. So I use the grouping section of Gmail. Uh, I switch on once the conversation, everything's settled, everything's done, everything wants, everything's monkey dory, everything's happy, and I move that and I archive it. But to, I switched that on purely for that reason. But generally, I, I'm not a big fan of it, so I tend to switch that off. And you can do that basically going back into settings. And if you go to general and you go down to something called conversational uh, view, um, there you're there. If you hit that, switch it off, and you go back down to save changes so what that'll do I'll just reload your Gmail and as you can see now that conversation now splits those several emails into its own emails now I prefer my emails like that you might be totally different but I find it quite useful to be able to split my emails uh, to read them individually so that's the second tip so the third tip I want to show you guys is if I go back into settings um, settings again and it's filters and uh, literally blocked addresses so this is quite useful is uh, if you're trying to organize or self-organize your inbox so basically if you if you want to mark emails as important if you want to move emails to different labels this is more or less an automated process of doing that without having to manually do it so I'm just going to quickly show you some of the kind of options you get to be able to, to choose from so if I click on filters and blocked addresses click on your filter so you can choose a criteria here basically on anything you want uh, if it's a particular email from one person that you want to always put in a particular label that's perfectly fine if it's a certain subject or a certain keyword you can use the same again uh, for this example I'm just going to just put in uh, a typical subject I don't know uh, everything Google so what happens there is if you choose a subject, I don't have any emails in there, for example, but if you choose a particular person or subject, you then click on create filter. And then you get options to choose various uh, 
handlers uh, of what you want that email to be doing. So you can mark it as an important email, you can star it, you can forward it to another address, you can delete it or you can choose it as uh, never send it to spam. So basically, um, if you find that quite a few emails are going to spam, <coughs> definitely hit that, uh, create that filter to make sure it goes back into your inbox. And I find it's quite useful if I'm always getting regular emails, maybe on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, or if there's anything that I've signed up to that, you know what, I might want to look at once in a blue moon. Uh, this is great to be able to organize that in your inbox without you having to do it manually sort of thing. So have a little play around with it. Um, you can always delete the filters if it doesn't work sort of thing. So you can't really do anything wrong with it. So it's definitely worth a quick try on that. So the last feature that I want to show you guys is basically the compose feature. So basically if you're in your uh, inbox and whatnot and you go to compose, there are a couple of hidden features quickly in there that I don't think are straight away obvious and one of them being is basically the spell checker so once you compose an email there's a little three dots on the right hand side there if you click on that it gives you some additional uh, features um, and one of the key ones are there obviously uh, spell checker I don't know why it's in the three dots there but that's where it's hiding so so the next feature quickly before we come to the end of the video is basically the schedule send option which is on here. Now if you compose your email you can schedule it to various parts of the day, it could be the next morning, the afternoon or a couple of days down the line. So if you schedule something it appears on the left hand side of your inbox as a scheduled email. You can go back in there and then edit those emails to be sending it sooner or quicker or if you want to delete it straight away. So I recommend you use that if you need to, especially if you're going to be working late in the evenings or whatnot. The last thing you want to do is send people emails at 10 o'clock at night. So it's a great for you to send something in the morning to them. So the last feature I want to show you guys is this confidentiality feature. So if I switch that on. So recently uh, Google released this confidential feature um, to education and basically it can send emails, it allows you to send emails to people but after a certain amount of time those emails then expire. So if there's any attachments or whatnot, um, they all expire, etc. What you can also do if there's an email someone receives, you can get it so you can give them a SMS text message to be able to uh, to open that email because it will ask them for a code you switch that on there and then they won't be able to open that email or you won't be able to open that email without that code so definitely worth giving that a try especially if you are sending some secure information i've hoped you like this video definitely hit subscribe and i'll see you on the next one